Lenny Riefenstahl was one of the most powerful and influential filmmakers of the 20th century. She uh, was living and working in Germany in the 20s and 30s. She was an actress before she became one of the very first female film directors. When she wasn't getting the parts she wanted, she decided to strike out on her own. Her first film was called The Blue Light, uh, which was a, sort of an underground hit in Germany at the time. And uh, the Nazis saw this, Hitler saw this in particular, and felt like her aesthetic was the aesthetic of the Nazi party. She prized beauty and classic versions of beauty above all else. Her filmmaking was highly, highly aesthetic. So the, the Nazis uh, and Hitler basically recruited Lenny Riefenstahl to begin to make movies, resulting in Triumph of the Will, one of the most spectacular pieces of filmmaking ever created. In making uh, Triumph of the Will, Lenny Riefenstahl pioneered film techniques that we still use today, such as the dolly shot, the crane shot. Um, she also invented her own lenses uh, to create deep focus effects. And uh, the resulting film is what we consider a propaganda film by today's standards. Then Lenny Riefenstahl called it a documentary. It was a huge hit. People had never seen anything like this piece of filmmaking before. The Nazi party made it mandatory viewing, so people in the countryside were seeing this spectacular piece of art. For that reason, Triumph of the Will is largely credited for brainwashing the German people to the Nazi ideals.